Hey everyone, Mr. J. So here today. I'm going to be showing you how I make rivets. I'm going to be using this little punch plate that I made. I uh, haven't really used it too much lately, but it's got different size round and square holes in for making nails and rivets. A little handle welded on just to make it easy to use. But uh, I got a piece of 3 8 stock heating up right now to make a rivet for a heavy duty set of tongs. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to upset the metal and then cut it off and make a rivet. So we'll be with you in just a second. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to use a small ball peen hammer. I like to hang the material over the edge of the anvil and just upset it just a little bit at a time. You could stand it up and do it that way. I just This piece of material is long right now. I think either way works just as good. And we don't need it to be upset all that much because the hole in the punch plate is exactly 3 8 so we just need like a half inch maybe 3 8 of an inch upset right at the very ends flared out just to jam it into the hole so then you can make a little bit of a head on the top of your rivet So there, just a tiny little bit of upset. Now I'm going to go heat this up, cut it off to the length that I need using a hot cut, and then we're going to stick it into the, the punch plate and make a rivet. Alright, so here we are at the cutting stage. I marked it cold. Find my mark on my hot cut here. And just hit, turn, hit, turn. pair of tongs, twist it off, and then you got your own homemade little rivet there. And then uh, I'm going to stick it in the punch plate and complete it. Okay, so here we got our rivet. Slip it into the hole there. And just with a little hammer, knock it through a bit to the point where it'll catch. And then I like to peen it a little bit and then give it a few finishing strikes. So there, you got a little homemade rivet. Three eighths and this will be meant for a heavier duty set of tongs or whatever it is you're making but a heavy duty pair of tongs which I just have the the holes punched through that are like you know three sixteenths or quarter inch so I'm now I'm gonna drift them out to three eighths and set this pair of tongs together. So thanks for watching.